January 28th of 2018. It's uh, one of those weird breaks in the weather where there's still piles of snow that haven't melted from the snow plow, but it's like 50 degrees at least out here. And that was for two days in a row, but yesterday I still had this respiratory nasty thing that is going around. So today I kind of still do. So if I start coughing, I apologize. Um, but I'm pushing myself because this is what I love. I brought down six more T-posts. So you can see that there's T-posts sticking up here. And then I brought down some of these branches, especially the really big ones, are um, trees that I cut out of the hedge up, um, up in the garden area because my hedge is pretty well unkept. It's not mine, but the neighbor's do not care for it as well as the guy before them did, and I don't care for my side at all. So I've started to um, do a little bit of maintenance on it, including cutting out trees about, oh, let's see, how big are these? I guess that's like a three inch diameter tree. All right, so up here, you can see I've doubled the length of this one, and then down here I've done the same. There's two new posts up there, and there are four new posts down here. One of them's on the far end, and three of them are on this end. That I, I've um, then bridged that last bit onto part of the tree that's growing there. So These are designed to stop the hill from sliding. Uh, eventually this will settle in, and I'd like to put one here as well so it'll just be terraced going right on up this is all overgrown with uh, very invasive plants including the Asian versions of both honeysuckle and bittersweet neither of which are all that useful and both of which are everywhere so they vine and everywhere that they're branches touch the ground, they reroot. So as you can see, they, they take over rather rapidly. I've been trying to get in there and reduce like the seed load, but um, I can see here that there's quite a few seeds right in there. I don't know if you can tell in the video. That um, it's just kind of hard to get to them. I would like to go through and just cut all that back, maybe tarp it over now that I have catchment because the trouble with tarping things over on a hillside is that if you kill all the growth, then there's nothing holding the hill up. So I don't, I don't want to risk that um, outcome. What I may end up doing instead is just uh, putting boxes and continuing to build these catchments. Uh, if you put a, a doubled thickness box and just start piling new dirt on top, it kills the undergrowth almost as effectively, pretty effectively. It just doesn't have that solar treatment element that a black tarp does. So you can also see that I used some tires to stabilize this hill at one point, and it was uh, uh, mediocre effective, I guess. I mean, they haven't gone anywhere, so I guess you can count that as a success. I don't know. So I noticed that since the one part of the tree fell that way and the other part is still bridged and I can keep myself completely free of its path and perhaps use a, a pry bar I'm thinking about that but not for today because I'm kind of worn out but I've noticed that instead of going down here the deer have started coming through here it would seem and this will be the next part of the hill that starts to give way if I don't take care of that too because the deer really like um, just bounding down this hill. I don't know how, because, you know, it's not... I mean, at a certain point, that's just a sheer cliff drop down there. Um, at a certain point, pretty soon. Like, really, you know, I mean, this is, this is a serious hillside. So, my feeling, because I did slip over there, I'm going to let the... Uh, my little buddy, the um, hazelnut, take care of himself down there. That's, he's just, that, that little friend is just going to do its thing. 
and then up here I'm gonna start um, cultivating and just maybe take the take the hill in bite-sized pieces I guess you could say so that I'm not um, overwhelming myself I think extending my property by terracing is a really good start for now so the idea is of course these aren't permanent nor are they were they in, it intended to be but I did notice that it ended it really well when using um, old trees as the cross pieces I found a little vertebrae in the woods um, so I have it there but this is like an old tree and then there's some logs and sticks cross hatched in there I noticed that held up really well so my hope is that if I get something with really good roots going inside of these um, catchments that then once the posts and logs are deteriorating that the hill might start to hold itself um, so I've, I've purchased some bare root um, bare root plants that are going to be planted here along this line I'm hoping to have a whole bunch of bare root cherries uh, that are native, the U.S. native cherry bush. It's uh, about six foot tall, that's it. And then up here, I'm thinking to do uh, the um, thorn-free blackberry and raspberries, basically. Um, and those will, those will spread quite a bit. And I don't think the cherries will necessarily, but um, they should have pretty decent root structures underneath them nonetheless. So that's, that's my current outlook for this hill. That's my hopes for this hill. And, um, and I won't even touch that part of the hill. I won't even go down much farther than this until I have this established, which should give that um, tree that fell but is still hovering time to... Cause it seems like having its branches tangled up in there is what's holding it up. So I, sh I broke free the piece that was holding it, and it still didn't go anywhere. And so I'm thinking that once its branches get a little more brittle, it will eventually fall naturally, because a tree that size holds its green a couple of seasons before it starts to really rot, especially if it's not against the ground and taking on um, the decomposing organisms that are supposed to help with that process so that's how this hill's looking the rope that was trying to yank it um was still all the way up there so i brought it to this point and i'm trying to decide like because i just kind of looped it in the tree and i'll figure it out if i'm gonna like cut it or if i'm gonna keep trying to get that tree to come down from a good safe distance but right now i am this is the plumb line of the hill and that's the top point of that, so I am nowhere near, uh, and I'm not going anywhere near where it would not be safe. So, um, yeah, that's the current hillside. It's, I'm happy with this. This is like a ten foot run of terracing that I just completed, and uh, I've got a couple more T-posts, but you know, I'll just keep buying more T-posts and clearing more branches and continuing to coppice this hill and using that to increase the uh, the cross hatching on these. So this is looking great. I'm happy. And we'll just see how it goes in the spring. Uh, happy gardening and happy middle of the frickin' winter. Really, really pretty day.